Today's my wife's birthday. Her hairstylist canceled on her. Can you please do her hair? I'm like, huh? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Fuck her hair. I just spent three hours doing this girl's hair. I already don't know what I'm doing. These FaceTime me talking about are you late why you answer FaceTime and I was like while well, I was doing hair they're gonna say you don't know how to do hair all out while my client was still in the chair what is going on you guys it is your girl Bree and I'm back with another Vegas before you even get started go ahead and hit that like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you can stay tuned when I drop these Vegas back to back because I am dropping back to back like Drake said but anyways today is a crazy video this is literally last minute. I'm going to a car show today, so I'm like getting prepared for that. And then my homeboy, who I'm going to the car show with, hit me up and was like, Brie, today's my wife's birthday. Her hairstylist canceled on her. Can you please do her hair? I'm like, huh? You want me to do somebody's hair? I don't know how to do hair. I don't know how to do I'm the last person to act to do hair. Like, I don't even do my, I don't even do my own hair. Do you? No, ma'am, I am not the one. But I was like, bro, I don't know how to do hair. Like, I'm the last person to ask. So since nobody else can do her hair, and it's her birthday, I was like, fuck it. I'm going to attempt to, like, look on YouTube on how to fucking do hair. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I asked my hairstylist who did my hair. She lives, like, down the street from me. I was like, hey, um, do you have an available spot today? My homegirl wants to get her hair done, and she's booked, okay? I get it. I love you. Booked and busy. But damn, Daniel, I really do not know how to do hair. I know how to race cars. I know how to cook. I know how to fight. I don't know how to do hair. That's one thing I don't know how to do. And plus, I have on nails. So this is going to be crazy. I am nervous. I am so nervous. I am so freaking nervous. So shout out to uh, Deeper Than Hair TV for teaching me how to braid in 21 minutes. Because I watched this video like four times. She said she's on the way. I'm freaking scared. I think I'm more scared than she is. Because I feel like she doesn't like really understand that I don't know how to do hair. Pray for me. <laughs> Pray for me. Okay, so my folks are on the way, and I'm like sitting here still trying to watch YouTube to see um <laughs> what the fuck I'm gonna do because I don't fucking know. Anyways, I gathered some products together. Um, remote for the TV, you know, I got the game going on. It is Saturday, so I'm watching college football. Um, I don't know if her hair is already like straight. So just because I need to flat iron her hair, I'm gonna flat iron her hair. I got a hair bow, I got my edge brush, I got a mirror so she can tell me where, how she wants the ponytail to be. I got a brush to brush out the uh, fake hair. Bobby pins, I don't know if I'm gonna need bobby pins or not. I got brushes and I have my own edge control that I made that you can guys get at Shop Sorry. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna sell this just yet because this is still in the testing products. It's still, it's still in the testing stage. I think they're here. Fuck, they're here. Okay, let me get a candle. I need to get my prosperity candle because your girl is motherfucking nervous, okay? You, you can shop my prosperity candles at Shop Fustali. Grant you good luck because, baby, <laughs> I'ma need it. Okay, y'all, so when my girl arrived, she arrived with her hair soaking wet. I did not have a blow dryer because I don't put heat on my hair. So I had to detangle her hair, well, attempt to detangle her hair while it was wet this is my first time ever doing anybody's hair let alone a caucasian hair well she's asian but doing this type of hair i didn't know what the hell i was doing and every time i tried to put it up in a ponytail or run my fingers through it it got tangled up even more so it's gonna be in the middle so do you want it to go to the back the side front oh, back go straight to the back yeah okay oh. ah! it hurts <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you're tender headed. Well, in the back, it's more like sensitive than in the front. Like the side of stuff. You got me fine, but you got me scared now. It's like the back is red. So after trying to detangle her hair while I was in a ponytail and was not working, I decided to do it in sections. So when I tried to do it in sections, the hair fell down and it was tangled up again. I'm being so gentle. <laughs> we almost done with the brushing part, I promise. It's just your hair gets so tangled so quickly. So does this hurt? It's fine. It's fine? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, it's got to be flat. This back, or you want it close to your forehead? No, no, no. This is fine. This, this right here is fine? Okay. So then I started to put some gel on the back of hair to make the back sleek. You know, this is actually my product. Of course. That's why we put it in the video. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. Make sure to do that. 
the gel that I'm using for the back of her head is a product that I created. I make hair care products, well, natural hair care products for my natural girlies. And this is a gel that I've been working on for the past two years. It is not available for sale because it's still going through testing, but it worked really good for her hair. Her type of hair and it made it very silk and shiny in the back. And it was also a really good stronghold too. After I tied her hair up in a desired position, I attached the false hair and I wrapped a little piece around so the bun can look natural. Well, shit, as natural as I can make it. Cause again, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Ooh. What? I love it. Oh, we ain't even do that yet. I love it already. It's good. So after I attached the extra hair, I brushed it out. It was extremely long. And this actually took me like 40 minutes just to brush out the hair so I could braid it. This took way longer than I thought it would take to detangle. And then me parting it in three sections, I thought I was doing something. It did nothing for me. So then now I'm trying to figure out how the hell am I going to hide her hair. So I thought maybe I should do three braids and then put the braids in a bun and then wrap the false hair around the, the braids. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, we're going to make shit happen. It's her birthday. I got to do something. So I didn't try about 10 different ways to conceal the braids. Did not know what to do. And I said, you know what? Let me channel my inner Houdini. And voila, was able to hide her hair in the braids. Now, mind you, this is my first time I ever did this before. So this is pretty good for a newbie. Okay. After I wrapped the last piece of hair around the base of her bun, I had her check it out to make sure that it wasn't too heavy and that the bun was in the desired position on her head and she liked it. So then I started to lay her edges, which is like my specialty because your girl can lay some edges now. So after laying her edges, she brought some hair jewelry and I clipped them in her braid and we're done three hours later we are finally done and she sent me some pictures of her birthday fit and it actually looked really good in, in the dark so she liked it i love it i would never be doing nobody's hair again but i had a great time this was a cool experience for me but i will never do it again first of all fuck y'all second of all i just spent three hours doing this girl's hair i already don't know what i'm doing bro these three niggas hours. these niggas facetime me talking about uh, you late while you answer FaceTime and I was like while well, I was doing hair they gonna say you don't know how to do hair all out while my client was still in the chair yeah, she, she gonna come back and hide this wait it didn't look bad though wait that's why you tie her hat down like that so she can't see it <laughs> <laughs> so uh uh this, this is not what the fuck I signed up for <laughs> I need, so, I need to so see this is what I want versus this is what I got. 